Welcome everyone to this tutorial. Today we are going to be editing your photos again and like I say I love when you guys send in photos because you guys take amazing photos. So if you want to send in photos send into this email address right down here and don't worry I'm gonna get to everybody's photos since only a few of you are sending in at a time. Today we are going to be going over Rod's photo. Let's get started. First thing that I am going to do is just bring back the exposure a little bit and increase the blacks a little bit. And I'm going to kind of mess with the shadow compression a little bit as well. And then I'm going to bring up the lightness, something about like that. And the contrast. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and leave that there for now. Real quick, let's run over. This is a Nikon D750 with a Sigma. 150 to 500. I want a 150 to 500 millimeter lens because uh, then I could take pictures like this. So let's go ahead and come over to the lens geometry section and let's go ahead and find our Nikon Corporation D750. And then let's find the Nikon with the, oh, I'm sorry, it's a Sigma lens. Sigma 150 to 500. Word at 150 to 500 millimeter okay and you can see that once those lens correction parameters are set i can actually turn this off and look at these dark edges here and then i turn it on and that vignetting is gone now we may want to bring that back but we'll see okay so now that we've done that let's go ahead and head over to our detail tab and i'm actually going to turn on some haze removal and go ahead and bring the depth back to something like, I don't know, five, and the strength way back. We don't need too much, maybe 15. And turn on some local contrast, put up the radius a little bit, the amount. And I like kind of settings along those lines. And then sharpening. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into the bird here because that's gonna be the focal point of this shot and let's go ahead and some of these edges here it's kind of pretty good for sharpening so i've gone ahead and increased the contrast threshold and the radius and then the amount is probably a little too high and I'm back a little bit and i've gone ahead and you can kind of tighten up or loosen up edges by bringing these points in or out and so i've gone ahead and tightened up the edges and then i'm actually going to come here to this edges right here and watch what happens. Watch this edge right here. If I turn this on, you can see that this edge gets sharpened up. And you have to be careful when you use this because it can really give your, your photo an unrealistic look because it's kind of tightening up edges that shouldn't be tightened. But because I'm really trying to bring this bird out and really make it crisp, I'm going to go ahead and use this. So let's go ahead and turn the quantity up to 100 so that we can see where the iteration should lie. I think two iterations is good. And I'm not gonna leave luminance only off, and then I'm gonna bring the quantity back down to zero so I can see my image without anything, and then go ahead and increase that until I feel like, feel like I have a good looking image that doesn't look weird. So I think 38 for this image looks pretty good. All right. Now let's go ahead and zoom back out to one to one, uh, back out to the end of the image. And then let's go ahead and use the color toning for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the green. Well, first, before I do that, I'm actually going to reset here. Uh, first, I'm going to come down and I'm going to click the color equalizer and set that to linear. Then I'm going to select this color. So I'm going to grab my selection tool, hold down control, and select a color here and select a color here and select a color here um, and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a sense of this log kind of the color gamut that's there and you can see all of these points right here so now if I turn on show mask I can drag this point down and I can drag this point down Okay, and then I'm going to copy this curve and come into this curve, which is the L curve, and paste it. And you can see that things are getting a little bit better. I'm going to bring these values back up. 
So I'm kind of playing with this to get my mask to work correctly. Okay, so this is the mask that I've come up with. I'm going to increase the blur just a, just a hair, something like two pixels. Then I can turn that off. And now, if I go ahead and increase the green, you can see that this background is not nearly as affected. So I'm going to go ahead kind of increase the green here. I don't want it to be too overpowering, but I really like the green moss. And let's kind of warm it up just a hair. Mm, I kind of like it a little bit darker. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and open up our RGB curves. And I'm going to start off with the blue curve because I want this to be a little bit warmer. So we'll go ahead and pull down on the blue curve to add in a little bit of yellow. And then here in the green curve, let me reset that. I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Pull down because I want, what I want is I want there to be a little bit of contrast uh, color-wise. So green, the opposite of green is red or red-esque colors. So if I go ahead and put this purple here, you can see that there's quite a quite a bit of contrast there, but of course that's way too much. So I just want there to be a little hint. Let's turn on some soft light, bring that back to about 9, 10. And last but not least, it's adding a little bit of vibrance, not too much. Okay, so here we are at the very end. If you, I wanted to, I could add in a little bit of noise reduction just because the bird is a, a wee bit noisy. So just like we've been doing with the other images, I'm going to go ahead and open this up in GIMP. And now that we're here, I want to go ahead and hit Control shift d in order to duplicate my image. And then I want to go to Filters, Enhance, and a High Pass. Let's go ahead and let GIMP load that. The reason I'm doing this is because I really want that crispness that comes from a high-pass filter. And I'm going to go ahead and decrease this to a high-pass of 1. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit because I want to see the bird. Maybe 2. I'm going to go with 2. And now I'm going to, oops, going to come up here to the mode and change that to a hard light mode. And now you can see if I turn that off, turn it on. There really is a sharpening effect that happens when you do this high-pass filter. But it also kind of doesn't work well with blurry backgrounds. So I'm going to add in a white layer mask. And then I'm going to hit P on my keyboard for my brush and increase my brush size. And then put the hardness to 0, the force to 100, and choose the color black. And then I'm going to just go ahead and outline right here, uh, around the bird, and outline right here. And you can see I have these lines that go through my layer mask. So now if I hit Alt and click, I can see just the layer mask. And I'll hit F on my keyboard to grab my uh, lasso tool. And now I can go ahead and just select all that's in here. I can hit spacebar on my keyboard. Just go ahead and select this, which is where my bird, which is where the bird and the log is, and then hit Control I to invert that selection, and Shift B, and then go ahead and click that in order to uh, make all of that black, and I don't have to spend a lot of time coloring that in. And then just Alt click on your layer mask again. Now I think we are just about there. Last but not least, let's go ahead and crop this image. Shift C to crop. And I think a one-to-one -one is probably our best bet. I'm just going to turn off Allow Growing so that I don't have to worry about the image growing. And I like the bird right there in the center. I also really like this branch in the foreground. So this shot was really well done. Anyway, Rod, thank you so much for sending in this photo. I really appreciate it. Awesome shot. For all of you guys, you are welcome to send in the photo, any photos that you have, and I really appreciate any like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe, 
and I will see you next time.